Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about sound deadening a vehicle and what are the benefits of actually sound deadening a vehicle that is a little bit out of what, what people wouldn't really think about and they are very important benefits and a lot of people seems to think that spending maybe $200, $300 on sound deadening their vehicle as maybe a waste of money but it's not a waste of money. You will recoup that money back when you sell the vehicle. I'll get back to that a little bit later in the video. This is my truck. I sound deadened the hood of the truck just to see if sound deadening the hood was actually worth it to get rid of road noise. Video right there and you'll see the before and after results with a sound meter. Now, there are some benefits of sound deadening a vehicle that is a little that goes a little bit further than just sound benefit. But sound benefit is something also that a lot of people don't think about and before applying before installing a new stereo inside your car a lot of people don't seem to realize that the key to making that sound system sound the best is to sound deaden the trunk and the doors the reason for that is that's where most of the speakers are and when you apply the sound deadening material on the metal it will lower resonance and it will get rid or mitigate the low frequency noise the vibrational noise that the bass will add now if you don't get rid of that your surround sound system isn't going to sound as good as you may think so you might be spending whether whatever your budget is if you have a really high budget and you want to spend a lot of money on the sound system but you just don't really think that sound deadening the vehicle is worth it then you might just want to spend less on your surround sound system and put a little bit of sound deadening and you will see that your surround sound will sound a lot better another benefit of sound deadening your vehicle is well let's say that the well right now it's not really a good good example because with what's going on car shortages you probably don't have that much problem selling your vehicle however let's say you sound deaden your vehicle right now and you want to sell it in two three years from now and the car market the used car market is a lot more competitive well if you have let's say a honda civic or let's say a toyota corolla and there's an abundance of them for sale well, for you to separate yourself from all of the competition, you just have to advertise that you sound deadened your car. You spent, let's say, $300 on Dynamat or different sound deadening materials. I'll have links in the description below of the sound deadening material that I use and that I also recommend. And if you take pictures while you're sound deadening your vehicle, that is important. If you are sound deadening your vehicle, take pictures because when you go to sell your vehicle, add those pictures in the ad and you will get either your vehicle sold a lot faster if you want to price it the same as all the others it will most likely sell the first one or if you want to just recoup your money and maybe make a little bit more money you can maybe add a thousand dollars and you can maybe tell people that it is indeed a toyota corolla let's say but when you're driving it it sounds like a toyota avalon and that's the important thing when you add sound deadening material in a vehicle it makes the vehicle feel and drive and sound more expensive it sounds like a more expensive car especially even in the doors when you open and close the door if you have a relatively cheap car and you close the door it'll feel tinny same thing with the trunk you add a little bit of sound deadening material in the trunk in the doors it, it will sound more like a expensive heavy vehicle that has you know those luxury cars you pay more for them they have those types of insulation already installed but you can go and spend three four hundred dollars sometimes even just twenty five dollars if you just want a little bit of sound deadening material just to do the doors or just to do the trunk or just to do around where the speakers are your new speakers your new surround sound then spending maybe thirty forty dollars extra on sound deadening is key to making your your whole experience a lot better another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you will not have to have your volume up quite as high if you have sound deadening material on the floor let's say you're getting rid of road noise if you treated the wheel wells you got rid of a little bit of road noise as i did with this truck i treated the hood i got rid 
of a little bit of engine noise, which I was a little bit surprised, to be honest. And, but if you are going to apply sound editing material under the hood of, the, of your car or truck, make sure to buy the right thing because some are not very good when it comes to heat. However, some are really good at heat shielding. So just make sure you buy the right thing if you're going to do it under the hood where there is heat. And also, if you are going to just do the doors, make sure to not buy that more expensive sound deadening material that has that heat shield because you're not really putting it where there's heat applied right on it. So make sure to remember that. Buy it for where you're actually going to place it. Save yourself some money. You're doing it yourself. You might as well do it correctly. So just trailing on from the heat shielding, another great benefit of sound deadening your vehicle is heat and cold. If you just do, let's say, the doors, while you're put, you're adding insulation on your doors. So in the winter, your car will remain warmer longer and will get warmer quicker. And in the summer, well, your AC is going to work a little bit better because your car is going to be a little bit cooler with that added insulation on the door if you have it on the roof also. Usually, you don't add sound deadening insulation on the roof because... It's just a lot of work and the benefits are just not there compared to if you, let's say, rip out the floor and add it on to the floor. There's more benefit there. It's more worth it. However, some people like to do the roof and a lot of people like to do it because specifically of heat. If you live in an area where it's desert-like, you would know what I'm talking about when talking about heat on your above your head. And if you add some really high quality sound deadening material, the, the ones that I recommend, then the heat will be shielded a little bit. It will make a little bit of a difference in your car where it won't feel as hot. Another reason is, let's say it's not really about the road noise and it's not really about your surround sound system. You just have a lot of rattles in your vehicle. Well, what people don't realize is there's two layers on the sound deadening material. The bottom is a butyl, well, most of them now are butyl based, so they don't really smell and they work very well. They work a lot better than the asphalt base that we used to have and that used to leave a smell. You couldn't really put that under the hood because the heat would get to it, would get gummy. It just didn't really work too well, especially in hotter climates. So it's a butyl base. It's a lot more weather resistant, whether it's cold or hot, and it doesn't smell. The other side, the side that is exposed, well, that side, it will treat vibration. It will basically connect things together. So if you have a vehicle where you have just a lot of rattles, plastic rattling together, plastic rattling on metal, metal rattling on metal, then by adding that sound deadening material, by coupling everything together, or I guess decoupling things, then you will get rid of that rattle. So by doing that, it'll make your rattly piece of junk a little bit more livable while you're driving. So by spending just a few hundred dollars, just do it. And also I'll have videos in the future where I will continue sound deadening this truck and also eventually sound deadening my Honda Accord. And you'll see the process and the before and afters of each individual process. Next one, I think I'm going to do the trunk of my car because I just wanna see if it's actually worth even doing the trunk if you're not really worried about sound quality treatment. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.